My name's Phil Matthew, coming to you from a very big universe in a moment in time. Just going to talk to you today about an insight, part of our insight video series. And I guess what I'm thinking about now is uh, my experience in network marketing, um, in particular in the Amway uh, networks. Probably, look, it's almost uh, 10 years ago now, but um, you know, I did that for 10 years. So, but the, here's the thing that I was thinking about. I was thinking about um, the actual phone calls that I made and I made over 5,000 uh, phone calls and they were in the pursuit of, um, the whole idea there was to set up one-on-one -on -one, uh, sales presentations. They called that show the plan um, in those times. But the, the thing that was required, um, I come from an engineering background, so you know having to sort of make phone calls was a totally uh, foreign concept for me. And I, I sometimes I often think, you know, why I, why did I why did I go through that actual process? What what made me go through that process? I, I think initially it was the concept of, or the idea of you know financial freedom. And uh, if you've ever seen a network marketing concept or even an Amway marketing plan, you would you know probably relate to that. Um, that looks easy on the surface, um, but you know there's a bit of work and a bit of pain you know required. And so I guess that I'm someone who went through that pain of, lear of learning how to make a phone call. And uh, what was required at the end of the day was a different type of intelligence. And the sort of intelligence that I've come to know, I, I heard it first mentioned with, uh, through Robert Kiyosaki, it was the concept of emotional intelligence. And that was the ability to push through when you, feel like, when you felt like basically pulling back, when you felt like going away and not doing it. This other type of intelligence was required and that was the ability to push through. So for me personally, when I started making these phone calls, the pain involved was excruciating. It was coming from a part of my spirit that I'd never experienced before. Um, and the irony was it went on for years. You know, I, I think it was about the five year mark that I actually noticed after you know pushing and persevering and making these phone calls that the, the pain had actually dissipated, had evaporated and and, and basically it was just a very small you know, murmur. So that was an exciting phase because I can remember going through that thinking, when is this pain ever going to end? Um, the interesting thing about that, having learned to make phone calls, um, I did go on and learn to make a lot of money you know, from phone calls. So that was the, uh, so indirectly, you know, uh, by learning that particular skill, um, I've been able to turn it into you know, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars for myself, which is, which is good. And I actually believe that, you know, learning to speak uh, effectively on the phone is just uh, it makes life easier to live. Anyway, that's part of our insight uh, series. Um, I hope you uh, got something out of that. Leave a comment. Love to hear what your thoughts are on making phone calls. And uh, for more tips, tricks, and strategies, go to wealthwithxygeneration.com. Have a great day.